Dollar Tree has really amped up their organization items that are new for 2023. I found some amazing brand new finds that I can't wait to show you. I'm also gonna share with you how to use those items to help organize your home. Hi everyone, I'm Shannon, the Daily DIYer. So excited to have you here today. If you're new, please subscribe, especially if you love Dollar Tree DIYs and home hacks. These are some of the best ideas you're gonna find on YouTube right now. So let's get started with the first idea. This first idea is gonna save you a ton of money. Dollar Tree now carries these great canvas bins. They are so cute and very, very on trend for only $1.25. Head into Target. Usually their Target dollar spot is one of my favorite places because everything is really affordable, $5 and less. They have a very similar bin, except theirs is $5. These are the same size, made out of the same material, but you're gonna save so much money by getting them at Dollar Tree versus Target. These work great to add additional storage and organization to shelves, just like my crafting shelves here. I had some space above them that was not being utilized for storage, and I was in definitely in need of some more storage. So I purchased six of these bins from Dollar Tree. They just pop right up. What I love about these bins is they're also made of almost like a laminated fabric. So they have a waterproof type texture to them. So if you put anything liquid in there, you're not gonna have spills that are gonna ooze through to the space where you're placing them. So if you're needing some nice looking storage bins, definitely check these out at Dollar Tree. It only costs $7.50 for all six of these versus the $30 it would have cost at the Target dollar spot. So a really great savings here. I was so excited when I saw these at Dollar Tree, brand new item, never seen them before. And again, in the home office section, it has little compartments that are sort of angled in there. There's also a top section. I have a really awesome idea for these. For this idea, we're gonna grab three of those containers from Dollar Tree along with two of their wood crates. These are sort of their medium size. I'm pretty sure there's a smaller size and an even larger size. This one has the little slats on the side and the holes on the ends. Then we're gonna paint them. If you like the Buffalo check, keep it. You don't have to do this step. I'm gonna make mine match my decor a little bit better by using moss chalk paint on these. I will say if you are going to paint them, highly recommend using a chalk paint in whatever color you want. That way it's not gonna chip off the plastic. It adheres to the plastic a lot better than regular acrylic paint. We are gonna use acrylic paint to paint the inside, the front edges and the top side of the crates. You don't have to do the bottom or the two outsides on either side as you're not gonna see those here shortly. So once your paint has completely dried grab one of the plastic things and also one of the crates and some e6000 glue we're gonna attach all these together with the glue adding it to the unfinished side of one of the wood crates up against the side of the plastic unit go ahead add some more glue to the other unfinished side of the crate and sandwich it in between of the plastic organizers we're gonna repeat that process adding more glue to the next crate sandwich that in between the last plastic unit that will go on the end you just want to make sure that you set this up straight and flat on your work surface to make sure everything is sitting even and flush and then you're gonna let that glue dry completely it could take 8 12 hours even let it sit overnight to make sure it's all completely dried and then you can use this wherever you can use this for makeup but obviously since this was more of an office style unit i thought you know what we can add so much more organization with adding the crates to the middle and as you can see it made a really cute and useful station that holds so many different office items and I have another great idea using one of the wood crates from Dollar Tree, but first. Along the same lines of getting your home organized, it's also important to get other aspects of your life organized as well. With term life insurance from Fabric by Gerber Life, you can help protect your family's financial future in the event that something unexpected happens. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. You can be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. Fabric has now partnered with Gerber Life, trusted by millions of families, including my own, as I have my own children on Gerber Life insurance policies as well. So Gerber is for my kids, but Fabric by Gerber Life is for me, for us parents. 
Protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply today in just 10 minutes by going to meetfabric.com slash daily DIY. That's meetfabric.com slash daily DIY. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash daily DIY. I'll also make sure to put the link down in the description box below so you can easily just click that link, head over to Fabric's website, apply. Like I said, it only takes about 10 minutes. So, so easy. The wonderful thing is they have a 30 day money back guarantee and you can cancel at any time. So definitely head on over, check it out. Protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Thank you so much to Fabric for sponsoring this video. Now let's dive back into more innovative home organization ideas. So this is another crafting organization idea and then we'll jump into some more home ideas shortly. We're gonna take this crate and we also need a dowel rod. If you haven't seen this stuff before, it is glitter ribbon a Dollar Tree. It has an adhesive back so it's fun to craft with. I wanted a space just to keep all of my glitter ribbon and this was the perfect solution. We're gonna separate all the rolls away from each other so they don't run into each other and it makes it really easy to just pull forward, snip off what you need and it keeps everything nice and organized for you and looks really cute and sparkly too. If you see these rubber bins at Dollar Tree, grab them. These are some of the best bins you're gonna find there and I have lots of ideas of how to use them. So my Dollar Tree had gray bins and also navy blue. If you see other colors, let me know down in the comments below. I grabbed the gray ones for this. One idea is to use them as a paint palette, mainly because these bins are not like the typical plastic bins at Dollar Tree. They're made out of more of like a silicone rubber, which means you can just peel the paint right off of the bottom without having a mess. So instead of just cleaning them up, let them dry completely and you can peel off the paint. You're ready to go for the next time. Since this works so great for paint, I thought maybe it would work really great for hot glue as well as that's one of the problems we have is making sure we keep our worst surfaces clean, right? So we are going to adjust the layout of our bin here using a box cutter. We're gonna cut off the shorter end. You just slice through the corners and then press firmly down so you can cut through the bottom edge of this container. Make sure you are covering up your work surface, protect that. This is a Dollar Tree cutting mat too. I love that Dollar Tree has so many awesome new crafting things. So here's what our bin looks like now. And you can just set your hot glue gun right in there and pull it back out super easy too. It's gonna catch all that hot glue, even colored hot glue for you. It works for all kinds of different hot glue guns, even these little guys. And then you can just use your fingers to pull the hot glue off. Now it wasn't quite as easy as I was expecting since the paint came off so easy, I thought the paint or the glue would come off too. It didn't quite, so another hack here would be to put a silicone mat down. You can find these at Dollar Tree as well, and as you can see, the glue comes off those like butter, so quick and easy. Then you can also easily store your hot glue gun in this little tray with the silicone mat and kind of tuck it away, and whenever you're ready to use it again, it comes back out easily too. Now let's head into the kitchen. Since these bins are rubber and they don't have any holes in them, they're also great for collecting liquids and protecting your surfaces. So this is a great place to put things in your kitchen like your cooking oils and your cooking sprays that keeps your cabinets looking nice and it's still easy because they're pretty shallow for you to be able to reach up and grab them out and stick them back up there when you're finished. Another great place to use these in your kitchen is your refrigerator. They make perfect little organizing bins for things like yogurt that I'm showing you here, but you could also put other little containers in here, fruits, veggies, and that will help keep your glass shelves in your refrigerator nice and clean. Let's head from the kitchen into the bathroom because this is another really great place to use these plastic bins. You can line them up one right next to the other and they are perfect for putting things like cleaning supplies in, soaps and even medical supplies to keep your cabinets clean. So like I said, if you see these bins at Dollar Tree, grab them. They are so great for so many different places in your home. This was another awesome new find at Dollar Tree. It is called a corner tub shelf. It's kind of a rubbery plastic, bendable, pliable, it has holes in the bottom and a suction cup on the back. Now it says for your tub, but you can use it in other areas of your home too. 
So let's head back into the kitchen. This is also a great thing to use in your kitchen sinks, not just in your bathroom. Put it in the corner of your sink and then you can use it for things like sponges and scrubbies. That way they aren't sitting on your sink and they will dry and drip dry much more quickly with this little gadget. If you also have a slap sink, this would be another great place to put one of these. I'm sure you've seen these clear little glass dishes in the kitchen section at Dollar Tree. And yes, they are great for the kitchen. However, you can use them in other places of your home too, because they are great for organization. Next to your kitchen sink is another great place to put these. I have a couple ideas. And the first idea is to use it for a little ring dish. So if you like to take your rings off while you're doing dishes, you can set it in these little glass containers and keep them from going down the drain. You can also use them for your sponges and your scrubbies right next to your soap too, to keep your counters from getting wet. These little guys are so good for keeping small things organized. And one of the things I use mine for is bobby pens. So these tend to be just everywhere, but if I keep them in the little dishes, they seem to stay under control and then I can get to them easily. I also use them for things like ponytails. So I keep those handy and also contained and organized for when I need them. Dollar Tree always has an amazing selection of clear acrylic organization items, and this is one of their newer ones. It's an oval shape and it has three little compartments on it, and we're going to take three of these for this idea. Make sure you take the labels off of these. We're going to put these all together using some E6000 glue. I like this glue because it goes on clear and it works well with plastic. And so once we, we put all these together, you're not really going to see the glue so much. So we're going to put little dabs of this on one side, lay it on its side, and we're going to stack these up vertically one on top of the other. A tip here is to also lay it flat on your table to make sure everything is lined up. Grab one of these little clips. You can find them at Dollar Tree too. It's going to keep everything in place as we allow this glue to dry as it does take several hours to completely cure. Go ahead, add the last one on top. Make sure it's all level, level and even. Add another clip, let it dry overnight, and then you can remove those clips. Depending on where you're going to put it, you can flip it to one side or the other, whichever way works best for you. We're going to flip it back this way, and I'm going to be using this for some of my makeups to add some more vertical storage to my little vanity. It even has enough room in it to put smaller eye palettes in there. I added my concealers, some of my perfumes at the bottom on the left side is some of my mascaras and then I have some also smaller size travel mascaras that I put above that and then also some of my lip stains and also lipsticks on the next level. I even had a room above that for some of my primers that I use and then I also love my lip scrubs so I stack those on top of the little shelf above that and there's even more room on the other side where you could stack even more so you can see there is just a ton of storage once you put all these together and kind of turn it on its side so you have more vertical space and you're not taking up a ton of your counter space. If you love these Dollar Tree DIYs, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet so you can come back and see even more. We are not quite done yet. I have tons more ideas for you, but I want to show you how much counter space this really is saving you as you put it on the top side, how I think these were probably ultimately made to be used. Um, it takes up quite a bit more space, but you get three times the more vertical space when you set them up, but it's up to you how you want to utilize it. This is the only Dollar Tree Plus item you'll see in today's video. It is a Lazy Susan. I'm obsessed with Lazy Susans. They are like queen of organization world because it just makes everything so much easier to be able to get to. And I have a great idea. So if you see these, grab them. It's a great price point. They're the clear acrylic, so they're high quality. And they also have rubber on the bottom so they don't scoot around. So we're going to create even more storage by using the bottom side for smaller things. In the kitchen, I add my little seasoning packets to the bottom and then back in Dollar Tree, we're going to grab one of their tapered pie pans that just happen to sit on the tops of these Lazy Susans perfectly. So you just press that down on the top and then you can add other things on top of there to get a tiered and extra storage space. 
I especially love Lazy Susans in the kitchen as it's easier to get two things in the back of the cabinet when they're in a Lazy Susan versus having to reach around and grab for what you want blindly. So if you add your spices to the top of this Lazy Susan, you can easily spin it around and grab what you need. And it's easy to pull that top off, the pie pan off to get to what's on the inside. And since it's clear, you can see what's in there. Another place to use this Lazy Susan in your kitchen is the center of your table. Now our island actually acts as our dining room table as it has a leaf in it so we can expand it and have more people sit around it. But we love the Lazy Susan in the center of the table so the whole family is able to grab things like napkins and our salt and pepper. I also added a plant in there for just cuteness effect but it's just really nice and it looks really nice too. Now, I hope you're ready for the cuteness overload. In this next hack, we're gonna grab one of these small little carrying bins from Dollar Tree. This one's all for our little puppy, Honey. If you're new to the channel, this is Honey, our little miniature golden retriever. She's about eight months old now, and we are gonna make her her own little spa puppy set. This is a little brush mitt from Dollar Tree. She loves it. She knows what this is. I think she does. She's ready for her brushing and a petting and chewing on it. <laughs> We're also gonna add other puppy supplies to this bin, including her little nail filer and her toothbrush and toothpaste. She has those weepy eyes, so we keep these eye wipes handy to help wash her face off a little bit and also her little shedding brush goes in there too the way we can just easily pull out this bin when it's time for her to have a little bit of puppy spa time i would say she approves and i also think she is ready for her spa treatment it's nice to have this all handy organized and ready to go for our honey now don't laugh i know this is so funny and silly but you're gonna be grabbing butter dishes from Dollar Tree after you see these ideas. These are plastic butter dishes. And let me tell you, there are so many awesome ways you can use these. The first one is for your lunchbox. Take your silverware, your plastic utensils, and your napkin, fold them up, put them in here, put the lid on, and they are the perfect size to then throw into your bin. They're nice and clean and dry once it's time for you to go enjoy your meal. So that's idea number one. There's another great idea number two for your lunchbox, and that's using it for your snacks. So you can fill it up almost lunch, lunchable style, adding things in there like vegetables, nuts, cheeses. You could add crackers. You could get creative and whatever you want to put in there, you can put the lid on. It's airtight seal, so they pop right into your lunchbox. Good to go, ready for your meal. So I love that these don't take up a whole lot of space and you could also store these in your refrigerator. Great for lunch boxes, great for little ones that just wanna grab a quick little snack or perfect for on the go. Now let's head into the craft room because there's not just great for food, snacking, lunch boxes, they're great for organization too. They are the perfect, absolute perfect size to store your washi tape. I love this because it keeps it all clean, organized, covered up, but still handy. You can still see through the clear top and they stack beautifully too. So you can store all kinds of washi tape, one on top of the other. These are also great for other things in your craft room, like markers, like your decorative colored pens, even some of your punches. If they are smaller and mini size like these, they line up perfectly right next to each other. And also it is great for smaller trinkets and things like beads. These are absolutely perfect if you have a smaller sized office or craft room and you need to have an organization but you don't have a lot of space. These are perfect because they stack, they are slim, and they are just perfect for smaller items. Now, did I change your mind? Are you gonna head to Dollar Tree and buy some butter dishes? You let me know down in the comments below. I am telling you, they are awesome. This is another amazing brand new organization item that you can find in the office section at Dollar Tree. And boy, do I have an amazing organization idea for this one. 
This wall in my craft room started out blank, but I've been slowly adding to it. But I wanna make sure I'm only adding things to this wall that I need to grab and have handy the most often. So this space is gonna be dedicated to my hot glue gun and hot glue sticks as I use those every single day and I'm always needing it. So when I saw this plastic organizer at Dollar Tree, I knew it was the exact thing I was needing and looking for because my hot glue gun fits right down into the larger compartment, but the cord of the hot glue gun was still hanging down. So I headed over and grabbed some of these clear command style hooks that are just adhesive back and they fit right onto the front of that plastic compartment. Then I was able to lift up my cord and just kind of wrap it around a couple times to make a loop. And then I can just hang it off of that hook so it's not hanging on the ground. Then the smaller compartments are perfect for all the different styles of hot glue gun sticks that I have, including my colored ones, my regular ones, I have glitter ones, I have fabric glue sticks, I have wood glue sticks, and they all fit in those little compartments perfectly. These metal dividers are not new at Dollar Tree, but I do have a new way of how to use them. And we are gonna pair them with an item that is new to Dollar Tree. And I think these have been around for a while, but I've never seen them in the different fun colors. I still went with white just to go with my rainbow theme to kind of blend in, but you could do the fun colors if you want. I love these little uh, organizers because you can put all your little crafting trinkets in there. And we're gonna take our divider and instead of putting it flat, which didn't fit, we're gonna stand it up on its side this way and go vertically with our storage and organization instead. You're gonna take your little plastic containers and you're gonna slide them right into the shelves. You can see now we have spaces for four of our little containers to slide right in there. You probably could even put one on top to get a fifth. And I think it'd be great if you added little labels onto the front of these. You can even have additional organization to have things at hand and easily accessible for when you're needing them. Do you have this problem too in your craft room? Bins that are just kind of overflowing. That is my ribbon drawer right here. You can see if, even if I just pull it out, stuff starts falling out of it. So I have a fix for that. So this is an organization idea using the felt scarf hangers from Dollar Tree. I put a little hook in the wall and we are gonna use this to organize ribbon. So I basically went through my bin and put everything color coded in order. My smaller ribbons that were a quarter inch or five eighths inch in size, nothing over that. Put them in rainbow order and then we're gonna start taking them off of the roll. So just roll it all the way off, take all of the tape and adhesive off and then you'll just fold it in half, fold it in half again, fold it in half again if you've got a lot and that's gonna compress it, take it down in size and fold it in half again so you can then hang it over the little hooks on these hangers. There's several reasons why I love this system. One, it is super cute. It added another rainbow vibe to my space. I love have everything handy so I can just grab it if I need it. And obviously I noticed I don't, I only have one yellow ribbon, so I wanna keep my eye out next time I go to the craft store. So I'm able to grab what I need when I see I'm getting low. Cupcake carriers. Probably not your first choice when it comes to thinking about organization, but these are great for more than just cupcakes. Don't forget to grab your lids. Sometimes they are displayed separately. Also gonna grab some of these small metal tins. They come in a set of four, and we're gonna pair these two together for an awesome organization hack. So these make really great mobile organization or easily grabbable and you can move it around if you need it because of the handle on the lid. We are gonna take the lid off and we're basically just going to take our storage metal containers and we're gonna pop them into each one of the little holes in the cupcake holder. Now we don't want these to move around too much, so you can grab some of these hook and loop Velcro squares from Dollar Tree too. You just put one side of this onto your metal container. It's got an adhesive back, press it down. You can even add a little bit of hot glue or super glue on there. You're gonna get a much better connection between one of the other. And then you can push that down so that each one of these now sticks in its place. And now, even if we flip this guy upside down, we're not gonna lose any of the things that are in there. They're not gonna wiggle around on us and it's nice and secure. So you can see they pop right off and you can pop them right back into the holder. 
Now, these are also great for, like I said, travel. So you can add some paper, scissors, ruler like I have in here, pop the lid back on and you're ready to go to a friend's house. Or even if you just wanna put stuff away on different shelves in your craft room, pop, pick up the little handle and then they stack nice too. Let's do another hack with those metal tins and one of these wood frames that also has a metal center to it, kind of like a picture frame, but it has metal for the center instead. We're gonna take that along with our metal tins and you can find these magnetic buttons at Dollar Tree as well. They come in a set of 12 and keep in mind that these are stacked one on top of each other. So once you get them out of the packaging, you'll pull them apart and then they're not so thick. So they aren't sticking out too far from your metal surface. Then you can take some super glue. My favorite is the gel kind that you can get from Dollar Tree. You just put a little bit on the back of your magnet and stick it right down onto the back of your metal container. Let that dry for a good 30 minutes and then they're good to go. You can pop these onto a metal surface like these frames and then they become decorative, but you could also use these on a refrigerator for spices and things like that or in an office on a metal board that you might have so that you have some little storage uh, compartments that are easy to pop off and put right back. What organization project are you tackling this year? Let me know down in the comments below. It could be big or it could be small. A big one on my list to do this year is my closet. So be looking out for a closet organization video to come soon. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button. That helps out my channel so, so much. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.